Many financial institutions consider your credit score when making a loan decision. If you're in the market for a mortgage, car loan, personal loan, or even a credit card, your credit score is going to directly impact how much you pay for the loan and if you're approved or not. Before applying for your next loan, it's good to know how the lender is going to look at and use your credit score. My name is Matt Olson, mortgage lender with Hills Bank and Trust Company, and I'm going to discuss how lenders use your credit score in their decision making. Your standard FICO credit score ranges from 300 to 850. When you apply for a loan, the creditor is going to look at your score in conjunction with other factors to determine your interest rate and loan terms. For a mortgage loan, lenders typically pull a credit report from each of the three major reporting bureaus. This is called the Tri-Merge Report. For personal loans, car loans, and credit cards, lenders usually just look at one credit score. The lower your credit score, the higher your credit risk. And the financial institution will compensate for that higher risk by charging the higher interest rates. A low credit score can also prevent you from being approved for a loan. A credit score of 740 gets you the best interest rates with most lenders. To give you an example of how the interest rate affects your payments, let's look at two borrowers, Aaron and Austin. Aaron has a 740 credit score and Austin has a 640 credit score. Both individuals are borrowing $100,000 on a 30-year house loan. With Aaron's excellent credit score, she gets an interest rate of 4.5% and pays $507 per month. Austin has a rate of 5.5% and pays $568 per month. Austin pays $61 more each month than Aaron for the same amount of money because of his lower, lower credit score. That may not seem like a large amount, but it adds up to over $20,000 over the course of the loan, which is a large amount. In addition to having an impact on the rate, your credit score will also determine the required down payment and length of loan. As your credit score drops, the amount of down payment required on your house or car loan increases. The lender may also shorten the loan term to make you pay back the loan quicker if your credit score is below average. Thanks for watching my video. If your credit score needs some work, check out my video titled Tips for Improving Your Credit Score. Feel free to leave comments and questions below.